NTFS versus X4. So let's do some tests with this. So we're gonna open disks. And I'm gonna take this SSD here and I'm going to change the format to NTFS SSD. I'm gonna check this one here for use with Windows NTFS. And we're also going to do one of these hard drives. And for use in Windows, NTFS. Okay, so now we have the NTFS SSD initiated and we have the hard drive initiated. So we're going to run a benchmark. So we have 549.2 megabyte per second, 446. 0.5 megabyte per second, and then the access is 0.17 milliseconds. Run it again. 551.7, 444.9, 0 0.17 milliseconds. Run that one last time. 554.7, 442.0, and 0 0.16 milliseconds. Okay, so now let's format the drive again. Five fifty one point eighty six is the average. Then for the right speeds, four forty four point four six. There we go, now we can run a benchmark. Five sixty point zero for the read, four forty five point zero for the write, zero point zero three millisecond for the access time. So the latency is a lot quicker. Run it again. So we have 558.4 for the read, 447.5 for the write, and again, 0 0.03 millisecond latency for the access time. Run that one more time. And we have 558.9 for the read, 447.3 for the write, and again, 0 0.03 millisecond for the latency. Now, See that average again. Okay, so now we can take the average from the ext4 drive, 559.1, and now we will divide that by the score from the NTFS one, which was 551.8 equals 1.3% improvement. Now we'll do the same, 446.6. That's on the ext4 drive, that was our average divided by 444.4. 4. 
So that was a 0 0.049. So we'll say half of a percent. 0 0.5 percent. So 0.03 divided by 0 0.17. So that one is 17.6 percent better. SSD read is 1.3% better. Write is 0.5% better. And the latency access is 17.6% better. So far, it's not looking too good for NTFS. So now, let's run them again on the hard drive. So this one here is the NTFS hard drive. So we're gonna unmount that. Now we can run our benchmarks. are steep numbers by comparison. So we got 124.4 on the read, 60.2 on the write, and then 19.54 milliseconds for the access time latency. Run it again. Okay, it's getting worse. 81.6 on the read, 57.9 on the right. And the access latency got a little bit better, but not much. 18.97. Run it again. Okay, a little bit better, but still terrible. 84.3 on the read, 57.8 on the right and 18.81 on the latency access. So now we can close that. We can format this drive again. And now let's make a new partition. And while that's going, let's run these averages. Average was 96.7 for the read. Fifty-eight point six is the average rate. and the average latency was 19.10 milliseconds. So now let's run the benchmarks. EXT4. So we got 128.7 for the read, 59.4 for the write, 18.52 milliseconds for the latency. Run it again. So that one there, we ended up getting 134.6 on the read, 59.9 on the write, and 17.97 milliseconds for latency. So let's run it again. So we got 127.3 on the read, 57.7 on the write, and then 18.49 millisecond latency. 
So now, let's run the calculator again. Run those averages. Let's run the percentage differences between them. That's 30. So that is a 34.6% improvement on the read speed. So we got 0.05% again for the right. a 4.2% improvement there. So now we got the read write access. Read was a 34.6% improvement. Write was 0.5% improvement and the latency was 4.2% improvement. So overall, um, we are not going to be using NTFS anymore. Is this is the clear winner. Improvements on the SSD and the hard drive. Even as slow as the hard drive was, that was a huge improvement on the read speeds. So there we go. Um, hopefully you learned something. And if that isn't a reason to switch to Linux, then I don't know what is, because that is just free performance sitting there waiting. So don't forget to uh, like the video or subscribe if you haven't, or don't. I'm not telling you what to do.